Hey everyone, uh, my name is Jerry. Uh, I'm a tattoo artist and a concept artist, and also concept uh, concept art instructor. <clears throat> I've been teaching for a um, couple of years, or two, two or three years, for concept art, uh, helping college students to apply to my school, uh, my college, to learn uh, concept art. Mm. I graduated from Art Center College of Design. Uh, Art Center College of Design. Uh, major major in entertainment design. Uh, I, as I know, nowadays they have another major called entertainment art, but not like that. I, I graduated from entertainment design. Uh, the difference from the entertainment art, entertainment design, um, is entertainment design we learn a lot of 3D stuff, uh, th uh, like uh, like software, um, uh, 3D smacks. Maya and uh, ZBrush. And also, we make a handcraft and crafts like that. <clears throat> and also, um, entertainment art, they don't have that bunch of classes, they just uh, purely uh, designing and drawing. That's nowadays uh, this major. Uh, this school located in uh, LA, in the United States. I want to talk about a little bit about my background. So, I was in China. Um, I learned. I started learn. I uh, started professionally learning art from my uh, middle school. Uh, I I was like really into uh, like drawing comic stuff or Hello Kitty or Snoopy Dog. Something like that in the beginning, and eventually, um, my family found I really into art, so sent me to a professional school to learn art. Um, so I start professionally, uh, start art uh, from uh, middle school, almost at, at the end of the middle school, and uh, prepared a uh, portfolio for applying uh, professional art uh, high school. Um, so I start from there. Uh, and eventually, when I was 16 or 17, I came came to United States, uh, learned professional art, more a path, more professional art, I guess. Um, the reason I'm saying that because, of uh, course, uh, uh, please don't, uh, don't, don't. Uh, uh, I was saying like uh, in in China, there's a lot of great artists, of course, but uh, at that time, uh, around me, the art teachers are pretty good, but uh, they're not that good to explain a lot of questions for me. Because sometimes if I get a lot of questions about like uh, what is the coolest color, what is the hottest color, I mean the warmest color. Or how to use the composition, all that stuff, or the or that designing stuff. Um, I didn't get even one answer. Uh, they all keep telling me, more you draw, more you're feeling it, and then you know, you eventually you know what to do. But uh, I realized that's that's not how it works. Uh, it's supposed to be a solution, absolutely like an accurate solution for all the questions. So eventually, I came to United States. Um, uh, came, uh, uh, of course, my school, my college. Um, there's a lot of uh, amazing teachers. Uh, they answer all my questions like right away, like one or two sentences, and then they always point out the, the problem with in my drawing, and that they solve the problem uh, right away. I. I, I feel like uh, everything is like math. 
like drawing is like a math, not like uh, feel it. Uh, of course, you need to pile a lot of hours uh, hard working on it. But uh, with knowing the knowledge, uh, you will move faster, improve fat a lot faster. Uh, this is a 30 minutes of video, so I'm probably not gonna keep talking, just here and there. Uh, probably gonna, probably gonna be a, a little bit uh, uh, sloppy, but uh, this is my first time. Um, probably we're gonna do, we're gonna improve a little by little for, uh, in the in the in the future. So as you can tell, uh, English is not my first language. Um, so still, I still have a lot of uh, uh, grammar problem. And uh, if you don't really understand the, the explanation or some part of my, uh, uh, some part I said you don't really understand, you can uh, leave the comment below. I'll try my best to answer the questions. Okay, let's talk about the, the channel itself for, I mean, this channel. I have another channel um, doing showing off work, which is like a time-lapse, uh, fast-forward videos. Um, mm, I don't really into that that thing. Uh, I know I'm not, I, I really understand that nowadays uh, people use it, uh, people watch videos really fast, but for art or for design I um, I think it's kind of like a different from other kind of videos because uh, if I only show you a video like a drawing video or designing video in 30 seconds you won't learn anything um, I prefer to do a real time uh, I struggle a little bit in the beginning I prefer real time uh, because in that way I think people who really into art will learn a lot more uh, by doing that way, just because, like I said, my background, when I was learning art, um, there's a lot of, um, uh, I don't want to say that, but there's a lot of fraud. Um, they, uh, all of them saying they they know the, uh, uh, art, they, they know what to do, but eventually you test them out with, uh, asking them questions. They don't. They cannot even answer you. So that really gave me a hard time because uh, people won't say they don't know. Uh, so they just. Uh, uh, mm, they they just uh, pretend they know and they they let you guess. So I do this uh, channel. I do this. Uh, do the videos right here. I have two uh, uh, reasons. One, uh, now I'm full full time doing uh, tattooing, uh, design, also tattoo like like customer customized uh, tattooing. Um, for my customers, they're they're requiring some cool uh, tattoos, cool designs. Uh, they want to most of most of them uh, like to do um, samurais. Uh, dragons or tigers um, they just want to be normal cool uh, but they probably not gonna take uh, a design like a too wild design because I got some customers uh, uh, came to me saying I love your design um, uh, but I just uh, want something normal cool on my skin but your wild design I don't see that on uh, t-shirt or t uh, teacups or mugs. I'm probably gonna buy that, but probably not gonna put that on my skin. I totally understand that. I totally respect that. So, but I still wanna do the, like uh, push the design somewhere. Uh, nowadays I'm not doing game design anymore. So 
I just uh, do on online uh, on YouTube uh, to push uh, a, a little bit more, uh, improve my design too. And also another reason I'm doing this uh, because, uh, like I said, uh, when I was uh, learning art, I didn't really get a good teacher uh, until I got into art center. So, so I want I want to use the videos like post the videos like this to show some uh, real technique, real skills. Uh, try to help out people who are really into art, but. For some reason, maybe the the budget uh, bu budget reason or a time reason that they cannot get into really good school. Another reason I'm doing it real time right now because uh, when I was starting learning art, um, I really hope. Uh, there's some some videos that uh, give me like show show me every single second of how they develop it, uh, every single part of the drawing the design. But all the videos I saw online are like speed painting. They call speed painting, which is like they shorten the time. They they probably they, they spend the same same like 40, 50, or even 100 hours on a drawing, but they shorten the time into. Uh, 30 or 30 second or one minute uh, that's nowadays a social media uh, uh, way to uh, make things uh, trending uh, I know that but uh, uh, I for my opinion we cannot summarize everything right because there, nowadays there, there are a lot of videos that uh, 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 um, talk about like uh, let you understand a movie in 30 seconds, let you understand a book in uh, one minute. Um, from my point of view, uh, if we keep doing things like that, we're gonna lose the beauty of the world, the beauty of life. So my purpose doing this is uh, really slowing down to analyze uh, every single stroke, every single, every single color choice, and probably there's a lot of mistakes. You can you can see all the, uh, the process. Probably I excuse me. Probably I, I spend uh, ten or twenty minutes on a certain part, but eventually I realize that doesn't look good, so I just uh, erase that away and. Uh, uh, even I create a, a bit more more efficient way just to create another layer uh, to test out if you're not that sure uh, if you don't like it just to throw the a layer away And another thing uh, for this channel, I try to I try not to like I try to be as casual as possible. Uh, the reason is not I'm lazy or something. Uh, just because uh, for each drawing we probably gonna spend because our design our drawing is not for any uh, design or 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 tattooing purpose. It just uh, want to do a per uh, like a really cool design, so we don't have a deadlines. So we try to push as, as much as possible. 
So we're gonna spend like a, normally we spend like 40 or 50 hours for each design. Uh, but for uh, our channel, we probably gonna, like look for uh, around uh, 50, 60, or even 100 hours for each design or drawing. Um, so I'm I'm trying to post a video every day. Uh, so we probably not gonna make every video really really fancy uh, so we just uh, do regularly uh, posting consistently um, every day because if we like say uh, each video is around 30 minutes if we want to do a hundred hour uh, design but we post a really fancy video like every week once a week that's gonna be like taking forever. Uh, that's too long. Uh, and I saw some comments uh, uh, below the video saying uh, they love my uh, line drawings. They learned a lot from uh, from, from my line drawing videos. Uh, I'm really happy with that. I, I, I am happy to help some people learn something. Um, I, I did that way because in the beginning, I didn't really do uh, line drawing that much. Uh, but uh, eventually, I realized that, uh, line work really made the design go fast because you, you just draw out the silhouettes and the basic shapes and a couple lines to uh, uh, demonstrate a, a simple form change then you you judge you like it or not and then you don't have to like uh, put tons of hours to render everything out if you don't like it that's kind of like a wasting time but with the line work there's another I really want to say, um, hey, like, uh, we use a line work to draw a design. Let's say a circle. Okay, so we just uh, like the circle, I mean, like the sphere. And then underneath, we create another layer. like this um, the, the reason I'm saying the reason I'm saying the no, maybe, maybe this bigger. the reason I'm saying with the line everything is really fast because uh, you don't have to render out all the edges like this to make that look like a sphere because you have a line to hold up the uh, the shape, the silhouettes. So you're gonna see that right away. So you just give a little bit of shading then with the uh, line, then you see what's going on there. Like right away, you can uh, make your judgment that you want it or not. But without a line, you without a shading like this, you don't understand what's going on here, right? You have to put, if, you, if you're if not using the line line works like I used to do, uh, I have to like pay more time on it, fill out everything. Uh, over here. Fill out everything to see, in order, in, in order to see that's a sphere, uh, that's kind of like wasting time. But if we have a line, everything goes faster. But there's another uh, bad perspective for, no, uh, sorry about my English. Uh, there's a bad part of the, um, the line work because with the line work, 
There's a line work with the shading. You feel that's too cartoony, not realistic, uh, not realistic enough. So what we do with that, we just, uh, I usually do this way, line work, shading, rough shading, how you like it. And then on top of the line work, make another layer. Try to cover up your line work. Try to cover up the line work when, when you decide to go this form. Um, that makes everything more realistic, more efficiency. Local color, and uh, yeah, I want to talk about a little bit about a uh, uh, <coughs> local colors, which means uh, you can find out my my previous videos. <coughs> Excuse me, some my uh, previous videos. You can see uh, after the line work. Okay, after a line works uh, for concept artists, we like to give a local color, which is the, the, the brush is solid and then no blurry uh, edges, just a pure color. Lock this. Pure color, and then you give it flat color of the up uh, like the local color means um without any lights imagine there's a world there's a world without any lights uh, you only see the color the object uh has by itself Something like this, right? Like without any, just to make it brighter. Without any light, it, do you think the design is good? If the design is good without any lighting, then you can uh, keep going with the lighting.
Oh, remember when you do the lighting, um, rem uh, remember you always uh, involve a temperature, which means if you have uh, the light area as uh, warm, then the other, the, 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 the shadow area is going to be cool. So we have to separate that. So I'm on multiply. So you, I imagine the light coming from here. Oh, the light is not supposed to be like that because that's like a 2D way. We always try to make a 3D. That's more accuracy. And then uh, the light probably we we can use a color dodge or soft light or um, or overlay give a let's imagine the, the shadow part is a cool color cool temperature so the light area is gonna be warm oh no I'm on. See that? I like to do it this way. Here, the, I put the, all the light in the folder. This is a okay. This is my line, the local color, and then some light. After that, I create another layer on top of everything. Right now, I'm trying to cover up all the line works to make the final piece, final rendering. Just zoom in. This. Something like this. I just uh, use. Um, I just uh, after after lightings. I just uh, use another new layer on top of everything to make everything clear. Uh, yeah, I'm saying I'm saying in the in the in the uh, line work part, you just uh, try to try to finish the design as possible, and then when you do the uh, a local color, you think the same way. Try to finish the design as possible. But uh, eventually, when you do the rendering, not only cleaning up, but also some parts. Sometimes uh, the the local color or design in local color form or line work form, it probably look good. But it probably won't look good as uh, when you add a lighting on top, right? Uh, because we need to deal with the reflection or or, or uh, shadows. Because the shadow itself has a shape too to see the cast a shadow. It's good or not on um, uh, the object who, uh, where, where the cast a shadow gonna be on it. Um, so a lot of other things uh, you need to think about it. Um, so I really, uh, I mean, I really admire some people, some designers. They they can hundred percent finish the uh, 
entire design with a local color even add, add on uh, lights everything still like uh, perfectly fine but uh, but for me I cannot do that um, I'm not able to do that I, this is why I'm still need to improve a little more uh, because every time I, I put like I, I think uh, the local color part is 100% finished design entire design when I throw in lightings uh, I still see some problems, some parts or some content not really connecting each other uh, or some uh, cast of shadows not really work with each other. So I still need to fix the design. And also, uh, sometimes it, 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 if you have a line work on top, this is why I'm saying if you still keep the line drawing on everything, um, Personally, I think that'd be like too cartoony because everything is a hard edge. Uh, but uh, you look, you take a look at the real world. Uh, everything is not that clear uh, in in the vision because some part is like a uh, fading out in the like uh, how do you say? If you if you if you make uh, if you focus on this angle this part of it should be fading away right and uh, the edges like probably we have a like for for this little uh, sphere probably we have a little hard edge on top in contrast we probably need uh, some uh, some uh, 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 blurred out edges on the bottom in contrast so everything looks more interesting but yeah, if you have everything in line that'd be like so annoying and a cartoony because it's, it's lack of uh, variety Sorry, I just uh, have a camera over here, kind of like not really used to it. Feels like someone staring at me. <laughs> See, now I changed the design. Uh, the tongue of this creature is supposed to be a like. Like this, right? I mean, like it's more like a cylinder, a thin, compressed a cylinder, right? But I changed that design. I changed the design while I'm uh, doing the rendering. Like this, I make a little, I make a little hollow here. To make uh, the tongue is more interesting. So I I was imagining, ima I was imagining the the, the form gonna be. I was imagining the form gonna be go up, and the, on the other side go down. Yeah, I, I think that like it's more interesting than just a, a cylinder.
Okay, this is um, pretty much it um, for today's video. And uh, this is the first time trying to show my face and show my voice. Uh, yeah, because I, I want to, uh, just only showing the video, I think that's enough, enough. So I want to do more. So, have a great day, guys.